I'm just watching Snack vs. Chef right now. I love watching baking shows. Me and Julian are currently watching season three of Is It Cake? They're so entertaining and then the food obviously looks so good. It is nine o'clock right now. I've literally just been sitting here watching my show. I feel like I should start incorporating healthier habits into my morning routine because I feel like I don't have any. The only healthy habit I guess I have in the morning would be like reading. That's not an everyday thing. And then the stuff that I read is not like intellectual or good for your mind. It's basically just romance and fictional characters. So I don't know. I feel like today just feels like a very lazy day. So I really want to do something that makes me feel productive. I mean, it's totally okay to just sit down and be a couch potato all day. But I've been doing this for a while because I'm on my period. So I need to get out of this laziness. Welcome back. Today I'm going to lead you through a quick five minute stretch that you can do every single morning. Let's get to it. Deep, full body breath. So as you inhale, arms are going to come up. such good coffee lately i don't know what the heck it is but mm, it's so bright outside I don't, I don't even know if you can see me mimsy is just running around everywhere right now i've been having like period brain all morning i don't know if i'm like the only person who gets this where i feel like i'm not present like if I had a conversation right now with like a bunch of people, I'd feel like I was in a dream. I feel like I'm daydreaming 24 seven. Like I'm not in freaking reality. My brain is just a hazy fog, not even there. <laughs> I think I need two hands for this. Is that what you're feeling? 
getting ready because I'm going to take myself out to go do something. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to stay in bed and sleep all day, which I do not want to do. So, yeah, we're going to do something. I don't know what exactly, but I just want to get out of the house and enjoy the outside weather before it gets, like, way too hot. Honestly, I've been doing my hair like this lately, and I love it so much. And it's so much faster than how I usually curl my hair. Ho, ho, ho. I'm all ready. This is, this is the outfit for today. Good thing I have a case to fire case. Literally no cracks or damage, just a little bit of dirt. And this is literally why I love Case Defy. Thank you so much to Case Defy for sponsoring this portion of the video. I love my Case Defy cases. Their prints are so adorable. They have so many options of prints. It took me like 30 minutes to figure out which phone cases I wanted, but I feel like these ones are very springy. So there's still some more I plan getting for summer. First, this case, my cousins literally touch it because they think that it's like actually painted on, but no, it's just a case. Like a lily pond, flowers, and then the trees in the background. I don't know why, but this one reminds me of the little emoji with the envelope and then the heart. I think it's because like the little squares, but it's so adorable. I feel like this was so cute for Valentine's Day, but it's still perfect for the spring. You can change like the base of the case. I just like mine to be simple black. Like this one, the side is like more of a jelly. This one actually does have the little envelope with the heart on it. The bow, the hearts, and the little cherries. It's such a perfect, cute like spring phone case. It's just so adorable. And then the little teddy bears, ah, their prints are honestly so amazing. I don't know how they keep having ideas. Besides the fact that they have really cute prints, I love them because obviously, as you can tell, they're super, super adorable. But the quality of these phone cases are so amazing. I drop my phone all the time from constantly propping it up on an unsafe area just to get a nice little video. And I have yet to break or crack my phone. They are so durable. It's insane. I was going to switch my phone case, but I feel like this one matches my outfit the best so i'm just gonna leave it with this one if you guys want to try out casey phone cases or get the same ones i have you guys can shop my favorite top picks on caseyfy.com okay let's head out for the day i'm putting my jacket on because it's a little bit chilly outside what this ice cream is called but it's basically just vanilla caramel and then like Reese's cups inside this place is like usually packed during the weekends and then on the farmers market days right now it's like pretty quiet there's not that much people walking around which is good because sometimes I get a little awkward with my camera out especially like when it's just casually like recording me I spent the rest of my time just looking at the little shops in this downtown area. Stores filled with so many cute little antiques. If I could, I think I'd have the whole entire wall filled with fine china. Because every time I see a cute cup or plate set, I instantly want to buy it. Because they're just so pretty. <gasps> Those would be so pretty if they were earrings. How cute. 
There's so many like little unique pieces in here. Oh my god. And all the, oh, the compact mirrors. This is so cool. I think these are earrings, possibly. These are clip-ons. Yeah, those are like clip-ons. what my my night concludes of it's 10 30 right now i already ate my leftovers but i was feeling like a little snackish so i'm literally having a little snack plate i don't i don't even know if you can see it i just finished watching bodies bodies because i kept seeing it on tiktok it was so funny and then the ending i kind of suspected that ending now i'm watching snack versus chef flavor from the cake certainly the texture is light and super enjoyable for a corn cake. Turn to our friend, the vending machine, and find out who it's going to be. I'm definitely really nervous.